Hi there. So, I am here to cut up nine credit cards. And you might think that's crazy and that I've lost it, but I feel I need to do this because you are making a statement to yourself and getting rid of these cards. And I feel I need to document it and videotape this because it'll be something nice to look back on. So, briefly background is I, I would say about end of 2016, maybe beginning of 2017, was not, I don't want to say introduced to Dave Ramsey because I've heard of the name, I knew the name, but I guess my oldest brother um, really brought him into my life and made me download the Every Dollar app and wanted to like show me some things and whatnot. So whatever, yeah, I had some credit card debt and I found a way to get out of that. I was, I didn't read any books or follow any strategies. I simply just started paying my cards down. I was living with my littler brother, um, still paying some type of rent, but was able to get my credit cards completely paid off. I still had a car payment and um, still had a house in Ohio that I had a mortgage on. Um, but then I did something that needed to be done but didn't need to be done and bought a condo here in Florida, which I am now in, and it didn't look like this a year ago. So completely flipped that and went into some good amount of debt doing so. So fast forward a little bit more, decided to um, really dive into Dave Ramsey, read The Total Money Makeover. I finished it in a week, maybe less, maybe five days, um, and have been listening to the podcast quite religiously in the morning and in my commute in my car. So I've decided to get Gazelle Intense, as he says. If you're a follower of her, you or follower of him, you understand what that is. So basically, we're gonna cut these credit cards up, make a statement to myself, watch this if I need to watch it, and um, yeah, the fun thing is there is a story with all nine of these credit cards. So I'm briefly going to give a background story about each one, snip it up, and uh, and that's that. And if you need a total money makeover, then you probably should buy the book and follow Dave Ramsey. It will change your life for the better. I can't wait to see how this turns out. So first up um, is the fifth third uh, platinum card. And how this one came about is I think I was about 17 and I went to fifth third in Ohio in the Heinz grocery store with my dad and set up a checking account because I had just like started working somewhere and I needed somewhere to put my money in, la la la. And um, I remember the card saying Dustin Kramer, A minor, and not like the musical chord, um, but literally a minor, like under 18. So, and that was all fine and dandy, but it kind of sucked because anytime I would, uh, again, background even more, I have no clue, just like any of the youth of America then and now, um, I had no clue how that worked. I just was like, okay, so this takes place of cash or what? So I just like swipe this and I get things, okay. So not like I bought anything crazy, but anytime I bought something that was crazy enough for my dad to bring me into his office or a room or somewhere and just would give it to me about, oh, you're buying stupid things. And he always had a saying, a fool and his money soon part and la 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 la. So that got annoying as a 17 year old. And when I turned 18, I thought I would go to the bank and get him taken off of there so he can't see my purchases anymore and I don't have to sit through any more of these lectures. And I guess while I was there, the bank manager or assistant manager or whoever she was, she had me fill out some kind of application. I don't know if it was for a student card or maybe it was or asked if I was going to school or this, that, and the other thing. It doesn't matter. I filled out this application, didn't even know what I was really filling out. And lo and behold, a card came in the mail and I read some of the paper, activated it, and I had a $500 credit limit with Fifth Third, my platinum card. Um, and yeah, of course, I ran that up a little bit, and I paid it off a little bit, and I slowly started to learn how it kind of worked and whatnot. So I'm not going to cut this one up yet because this is my first credit card, so I'm going to save this one for last. So moving to the next thing, and now it's about 2009, we'll say. Um, 2008, I think I turned 18 or so, to whatever, doesn't matter. 2009, have a girlfriend who works in the mall, and for some stupid reason, I thought it was a cool idea to 
go to the buckle and buy $150, $160 jeans that really were not that cool, but whatever. I did it. I put it on my buckle store credit card. You can't use this anywhere but the buckle, and I think that I used it maybe three times, two pairs of jeans, which probably equaled like 300 bucks because they were 150 bucks a piece. So stupid. Would never do that now. Um, so this will be the first one that I cut up and, and whatnot. So we're just going to go ahead and use these scissors here to cut it up. I'm not going to go too crazy, like making t tiny little puzzle pieces, but I am going to cut it up enough to qualify it as being cut up. There it is. First one down. Moving up again, we have another um, star or store store credit card, American Eagle Outfitters, which was literally right across the way in the mall. It was the buckle hallway where the kiosks are, and then a uh, then the American Al American Eagle Outfitters. Um, this one, I don't know how badly I ran it up, or or if I stayed on top of it. I think at this point, having no other debts except for you know one like little five hundred dollar limit credit card and um, these store credit cards, I kind of kept on top of them. That's normal, whatever. These are probably expired and I don't think I'll ever use them ever again. Actually, I know I won't use them again, so we're just gonna go ahead and cut this one up too. There we go, right through those last numbers. That was a little skinny of a piece. We'll get a little bit bigger, a little chunkier. <laughs> now I know that like, okay, so you can just log on and to your online and, and request a new card and whatnot. But the idea is to symbolize something to yourself, cutting these up, that you'll never use them again. And the idea is that in a pinch or when you're in the store or something, you're not going to have the ability to log on, request a card, have it be shipped to you right there in the mall or store and swipe it. So that's the idea. Okay, moving up. Now we're finally getting into another real credit card. My my first Visa Master or Visa Visa card. First one was Master. This one is Visa, and this was with Best Buy. I have no clue why I did it with Best Buy. I'm sure if I sat here and racked my memory, I could probably figure it out, but I don't remember why. All I know is it was Best Buy. It was probably like 900 or so credit limit. Stupidest thing ever. It has a $60 annual like fee, which is the dumbest thing ever because when it was paid off and, and has been paid off for quite some time, I still get hit with this $60 fee to have a piece of plastic that I don't use. Now, spoiler alert, in this condo, I don't know why I did it, probably just out of wanting to get done and being stupid, I decided to buy a 65 inch plasma TV with this credit card and of course the wall mount. So there is a little bit of a balance. Good news is, is this month, it is September 20 something, September 28th, I think today. And um, the payment is due in October. I'll be paying this one off completely. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut this guy up. This one actually has a balance on it and I'm cutting it up, oh my goodness. But I'm gonna pay that balance off in complete full balance. I think it's $922 and that'll be paid off next month. Bye. Okay, so that was about 2009 still. So now we're moving up a little bit more to, um, oh, I think I'm a little out of order there, whoops. So now we're moving up into about 2013. And I, at this time, uh, move into my very first house. I get my first mortgage, and this is in Brunswick, Ohio. I close on it at 92.5. I didn't lowball them or anything because I loved this house and I wanted to get it no matter what, so I just gave them the asking price. And when you close on a house and you're about 23 years old, um, a crazy thing happens. In the mail, your new mailing address, you start getting a ton of credit card offers. And that's exactly what happened to me. I got an offer, so I had a MasterCard, I had a Visa, I just cut it up, and now it was time to throw another brand into the basket. And I got hit up by Discover, and I thought that that was interesting because I thought that they only issued Discover cards to, not to sound mean or, or anything, love everyone, uh, to Jewish people. And the reason I thought this was because at a grocery store in Ohio, Mark's, um, which I believe is owned by Mark Glassman, who I believe is Jewish, and uh, 
they only accepted cash, check, and Discover card. And so I, just being young and naive and stupid back then, was like, well, I guess Discovers are just for Jewish people. And so to get an offer from them was weird. So anyways, I accepted the offer because I was stupid and just bought a house. And I was stupid. Did I say that yet? I was stupid. And they gave me $6,000 credit limit. Holy cow. That is awesome. I have a Discover card. Awesome branding. $6,000 limit. Right on, Dustin. Um... So, you know, for about four days to a week, I did the thing that everyone with a new credit card does. Oh, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to buy gas. I'm going to buy groceries with it. When I get home from the grocery store, I'm going to pay it off and blah, blah, blah. And that, like I said, works for about four days until you get confused because of posting and being delayed and all this stuff. It's like, oh, well, did I pay that and whatnot? And so that eventually stopped and I bought a new bike and I bought this and I bought gas and I bought a repair for a car or something, bought new tires, bought filet mignon for a birthday, bought champagne, bought all these things. And, um... Next thing you know, it you're just about a couple hundred dollars to maybe five hundred dollars away from maxing that bad boy out. So, this one actually right now, I like I said back in like early sixteen or seventeen, I um, paid all these off. But then because of this condo, racked it up again just out of impatience and not wanting to save cash and not realizing that cash is king, debt is dumb. And the pay anyways, we're not going to get there. But shout out, Dave. Um, so yeah, I'm going to cut the Discover card up. And it has like an $8,000 balance on it. And we're going to work that away. We're going to work that away. We're going to get rid of that balance in no time. And be debt free in no time. Never again will I use the Discover card. Ooh. Ooh. And that was a really cool card too. It looked like an old cassette tape. Which, whatever. It's gone now. Okay, so... 2013, maybe it's 2014 now. We've got all these credit cards this, uh, and whatnot, and uh, we're getting our back up against the limit of the Discover, and a coworker was talking about the Huntington voice card. And I thought, well, sure, I mean, if he's in bad credit, and I guess he got one, so I guess I'll try it too, and I'm not gonna use that, and he's got a point system, and blah, 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 you can get gift cards, and la, la, la. So, Applied for it, lied about my salary, said that I made like 20000 more than I did, and sure enough, they gave me a card. But of course, it was only a $1,000 limit, which is kind of small when you think about the fact that I just maxed out, close to maxed out, a uh, $6,000 Discover card. Uh, I, I used this, I think, to go on like a Florida vacation or went down to visit the family in Florida and used it. Didn't abuse it, but definitely used it. And just when you're fighting minimum payments and, and whatnot and all this interest, you pay an interest like it's like you're paying nothing because of all this interest. It just kind of, even though you don't max this out, it just, it just sucks. So this card is not expired, but I think the account and everything has been closed down because I haven't used it in forever. So I guess just to follow suit, we're going to cut her up. And just like that, another one bites the dust. Our pile is getting larger. Moving along to the next one, which is a Capital One Platinum MasterCard. Mm, and it feels nice, it looks nice, great branding. Um, I think around my, about being 25 years old, like my quarter life crisis, I, I decided I was going to buy a dirt bike. And so I did. I bought the dirt bike, I financed it with my credit union, hi PJ, and um, and I don't know how or why, but somehow I got a Capital One card around that time, and it was a low balance, probably about a thousand bucks or twelve hundred or whatnot, um, and I bought some like dirt bike gear with it and used it again to go to like Florida and visit family and all this stuff, and um, it has since been paid off and hasn't been touched in a long while. Uh, but it unfortunately has to go to, I will never use it again. So we're just going to go ahead and cut it up. Oh, they're going to turn the audio off on this video because I hummed three seconds of that song. Our pile is getting larger and we're getting to even larger um, balances. So moving on, we are now in about the end of 2014 up in the house in Ohio. I decide that I'm going to semi flip it. And what I mean by semi flip it is I am going to redo the bathroom and uh, redo some floors and paint pretty much every room and door and trim and whatnot. In the Jesus, Nikolai and every door and room and whatnot in the house. 
get out of here. And um, so I, you know, had my brother, get out of here, get me. So I had my youngest brother come up from Florida and help me with this. Um, didn't want to spend a lot because it was just gonna be paint and like redoing a bathroom and whatnot. But I went to Home Depot, applied for the Home Depot card. Of course, you've got all these other credit cards and you've got a house, so of course we're gonna approve you, and they did. They approved me for, I think at that time, it was mm, like six or five, maybe somewhere around there. It, was, it wasn't too high, but it was, it, was, it was decent. It was enough to get everything done. Basically, did the house, maxed the card out, also used my dad's credit card at the same time. Thank you. I will never ask someone to let me use their credit card ever again because I know the burden that it can put on people. Um, so yeah, again, back in early 2017 when I like semi paid everything off, all my credit cards were paid off, this condo which I'm sitting in happened and I maxed this, I haven't maxed it out. There is still like 600 bucks left on it, but here's the kicker. The limit is 18,500 and there's only 500 left on it. So are you good at math? Do you know how much that means is on this card? If you're bad at math, I'll give you, uh, I'll give you uh, the answer. $18,000 on this credit card. That is new windows, new countertops. Um, what else did I have them do? Windows, countertops, and I'm missing something, but oh, appliances, just everything. It's, it's maxed out almost pretty much. And um, good news is I'm probably never going to, <laughs> I said probably, I'm never going to need this card again because I'm going to pay my house in Ohio off. I'm going to pay this condo off. And if I need to flip a house or buy anything at Home Depot again, it will be with good old fashioned cash. So though it has nearly $20,000 on it, we're gonna go ahead and just give it a little snip there, a little snip there. We're gonna snip it right through the Home Depot logo. That hurt. Nothing against Home Depot, love them, and they did quality work, but I don't need your burden and your credit card. So we're now, I mean Home Depot, the, the, we're now in like 2019, 2018, whatever, the Home Depot card. I did the condo in 2018. Um, and it's finished here now in 2019. So, um, needed to get a kitchen put in, needed furniture, needed like all this. So I went to my uh, Nordic folk there, I think that's how you call them, in uh, Sweden, and went to Ikea and did an Ikea kitchen and furnished, furnished a lot of this condo with Ikea and, um, and got an Ikea credit card, project card, look at that. You know how much Ikea gave me? You wanna guess? I about fell out of my seat when I saw this. Um, they gave me a $20,000 credit card limit at their store. Now, yes, it is just a store credit card, so it's only at Ikea, but that's, that's a lot. Um, the kitchen cost about $6,000, and then I bought another $3,000, we'll say, in just things for, for here. Stools and rugs and couches and chairs and end tables and and um, uh, TV stands and bed stands and nightstands and all these things. Um, so it added up and there's about a 9,000 or so dollar balance on this Ikea card. Good news is whatever, it's a 24 month, you know, um, no interest for 24 months. So that'll really help, especially since I'm planning on kicking most of all this out of the, uh, out of uh, getting out of debt for credit cards, at least not mortgages um, in about a year or so. Um, so this is my newest card too, and it's kind of cool. It looks like a cinder block, um, but I have to continue and give her a little snip, snip, snap. Again, I can always go online and, and request a new card, but when these are paid off, I'm actually going to find a way to cancel these accounts and, oh, but Dustin, it'll kill your credit. It'll hurt your credit score. I don't care. So what? All the credit score is, like Dave Ramsey says, is, is a way to um, show people that you love debt. And I don't love it anymore. I've tasted a tiny bit of what it's like to be out of it and then fell right back in it with this condo. And of course, the, also some good stuff is I did pay off my car um, recently. I would say, what was that, in August I think I paid it off? So that's nice, no car payment. So that's why we're, we're really getting this thing done. So we've come back to the last thing, the thing that started it all, the fifth third platinum card, $500 limit back in 2008, maybe even seven, no, 2008, I don't know, I don't know, whatever, I was 18. Um, yeah, this is the, this is, 
This is the first one. I had thought about keeping it and framing it and being like never again or something like that. But honestly, that's kind of what this video is for. I'll just watch this video and be like, ha, look at me cutting those cards up, never again. So fifth third platinum card, first one ever. Here we go. So that's that. That's all nine of my credit cards, some with balances, some that have not had a balance in a long time and have probably been canceled, all cut up nonetheless in a little pool of credit card puzzle pieces. Yeah. So, um, you know, if you're on a debt-free journey and whatnot, and a Dave Ramsey fan and you're watching this, I hope it uh, inspires you. I encourage you to do the same thing. Um, and, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, this goes uh, quickly and smoothly. I've got some gazelle intensity, I'd say. I'm already getting at work, I'm being called crazy, and, oh, you're going to ruin your debt and your, or your credit score, and you're, that you, but what about if you have like an emergency and all this. It's like, read the total money makeover, got an emergency fund. We're gonna be just fine. Have a good day.